All right, folks, welcome to the channel. In this video, here we are in Truckee, California. It's raining outside, but it's right ahead of us. We're gonna be climbing a mountain, so I'm going down from Reno, Nevada to Lathrop, California. So it's going down basically towards Sacramento on the I-80, on the path. And as you can see right here, we're gonna be climbing down from elevation of 6,500 all the way down to 125 so basically they're requiring maximum chains and it's raining outside but ahead of us once we climb up the hill a little, little more it is snowing so without further ado let's go ahead and put the chains and by the way since they're requiring maximum we're gonna be putting four on the drive axles and two on their tra uh, trailers and I have these raincoats on that you get for 25 bucks at Walmart let's go ahead and get the job done Alright guys, so let's turn on the lights for the back of the cab. And the beautiful thing about it is that in this truck I have three chains ready right here. We just lift it up and boom. It's gonna be nice and easy. Once we put it on, we're gonna go ahead and get the lock and lock it all up. So I'll show you everything guys so you know how to do it if you ever get end up in the situation like this. It's very easy if you do it a couple of times. Let's go. All right, guys, so if you've seen my older videos, so basically same drill, you open up your chains, make sure that the hooks, these hooks, the, the force are looking up, and the keys, these are the keys, you're usually going to have four or five of these. Make sure these are open. Okay, we have got the last uh, link here is broken. If I'm putting six, I don't have any extra. Look at this one. You see that we're putting chains. Everybody up here putting chains. Look at this chain lane. Uh, some people don't have the courtesy. Anyways, let's get back to it. Just make sure these forks are looking up. Right here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna lift it up from this side and put it on. So I'm gonna grab it from here with two hands. Lift it up, put it on the tire. Let's see if I can show you guys holding the phone. Okay, right, so we basically put the six chains on. So when you put it on, right, make sure you've got, you can either roll forward or backwards. So in my case, I'm just gonna roll backwards. So you see, I have a little bit hanging here, but I have the extra at the bottom. So when I roll back about two feet, this will go under and that one will, will not fall down. The key thing you want to remember, forks are looking out, the keys are open, so you're going to have four of these, sometimes five. So we got the same situation here, we got a little bit extra at the back, a bit hanging here, so when we roll back, we're going to be able to hook it all together. We've got one more here, so basically we're putting a total of six chains. Alright, so that's it. So let's go roll the truck back a little bit, and show you guys how the rest is done. By the way, here in Truckee, for the last seven days I've been going up and down this Reno-Sacramento pass. Yeah, we've had about eight, ten feet of snow. Uh, further up, it's even worse, so it's gonna be fun. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like after rolling back about two feet. So, there we go. We've got the top part hanging. So we're just gonna go ahead, connect it all together, lock these keys, and drive for about maybe 100 feet, 200 feet. Stop one more time, double check them. If you've got the bungee cords, the spider web, sometimes they call them, even better. I don't have it right now, it's a new truck. So we're just gonna go ahead and check it up after about, 100 feet of driving and re-secure the chains and roll down, go up the hill and roll down the hill. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we went ahead and secured all the chains. So we're gonna go ahead. Every bag of chain that you buy is usually gonna come with one of these uh, locks, I guess, key lockers, whatever you wanna call it. I guess this is a key, this is a lock. So you just rotate it either way, left or right. And let's go ahead and see how tight 
the chains are. It doesn't necessarily have to be super tight. I have a light load. This is Amazon. Only 10,000 pounds. You see, this one is going to rotate. Yeah, also counterclockwise. Uh, let's see. You want to make sure the last one rotates. Uh, it's a bit harder to lock in. There you go. <coughs> Alright, guys. So that's it. As you can see, the forks are looking out. The chains are locked now. So let's go ahead and do the same on the trailer. All six chains. And we're going to roll for about 100, 200 feet. Stop. Double check. You've got the spider webs, uh, rubber things, the bungees. Ideally, you want to use those so you don't lose your chains because these are about 120 bucks each with all these inflated prices. So we're going to lock this up and show you guys after driving about 100 feet, see what they look like. All right, folks, so we did drive a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look if the chains are looking okay. And by the way, if you don't have a proper tire, you get wet. As you can see, it's, the snow is melting here. But once we go up, it's a negative temperature. It's snowing here actually right now. As you can see, uh, the police ahead of us are stopping everybody. Uh, so right there, that's the checkpoint. They don't let you get through that if you don't have the maximum number of chains, which is six, is what they're requiring right now. So let's go ahead, take a look what the chains are looking like. That's good. You want it to be a little loose, otherwise it can end up, this might be a bit too loose. Let's see. Yeah, I might tighten that up a little bit. That's it, this one is perfect. Uh, this one is loose too actually. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that up as well. Let's go ahead and check the trailer. It takes extra five minutes to make those tight, but you end up not losing them. Let's see, this one is perfect. All right guys. All these cars and trucks here are stopping to put the chains. Yep. Uh, all right. All right, guys, we're climbing up here. As you can see, this guy, even though he's got chains on, he's got eight chains on and he's still stuck. And look at this snow right here. Almost higher than my semi truck. So what is that, 13.6? So we've got about 10 feet of snow. Yeah, we're gonna see a whole lot more trucks stuck ahead of us. All right, folks, we made it safely to the other side of the mountain, so let's go ahead and take a look how many chains we've lost. Hopefully we've got everything in place intact. But let's go ahead. Got our chains here, got two. The trailer chain is in place. We got a total of six. So we've got this size chain looking good. Alright, that's good. So that's gonna be really easy to open it up. So this is it guys. So as you can see other people are stopping and taking their chains off. By the way guys, look at this monstrosity. Mother nature is beautiful, but look at this. How much snow. Insanity. Anyways, I hope you guys find this video useful and it helps you learn how to put chains on and prepare yourself if you're ever, if you're ever crossing through any of these mountains, mainly in the west coast. So anyways, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with the people you love. Until next time, peace.